Hello dear friends, how are you doing? God bless you. Today let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 8 from verse 3 to verse 16. Moses had to remind the people. Remember for how for 40 years the Lord your God had directed you through the journey. Remember how he brought you out of Egypt. Remember how when you were hungry, he fed you. What is the import? We are in a world where we easily forget the goodness of the Lord. In this season when so many people are down, businesses are collapsing, we seem to forget what the Lord has done before. It is when you remind him of his greatness that his greatness flows. Will you forget? Will you forget the times that business was okay? Will you forget the times that you were hungry and the Lord sent you something? Will you remember the day that you were sick and the Lord healed you? Or it was by your mind and by your power? Will you forget? It is when you praise the Lord, you glorify his name for what he has done, that he does more. I don't know what you are going through. Are you going to concentrate on what and the pains you are going through, the disappointments you are going through, or you remember the goodness of the Lord? What are you going through? The Lord is still on the throne. He is king. And so if we pay him homage, he blesses us with bounty. He gives us so much more than we even expect. But many people, because of the pain we go through currently, we have forgotten the goodness of the Lord. And so we cry unto him as if he has not done anything for us before. Bless the Lord. And so David will always say, bless the Lord my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. And that was why David became the greatest of the kings. He had both humility and a sense of gratitude. What about you? No matter what you are going through, bless the Lord. No matter what you are going through, praise the Lord. No matter what your family, your business, your relationship, your health is going through, worship the Lord. Because the Bible says, when you lift up the Son of Man, He will draw all things to Himself. It's time for you to worship the Lord. You now know better. Why will you always sit and complain? It's time to bless the Lord. Worship Him. You can do it in any form. And let me tell you, one side of it, there was a time I knew I had nothing with me. I met this small girl, I think she was in JHS 1 or so, who had not paid his fee, her fees and I was sent home. That was the greatest of my testimonies. I had only 2,000 CDs in those times, which was like 20 CDs. And I asked the person, he said, I've not paid my fees and blah, blah, blah. I just removed that money and gave it to her. Use this to take transportation home. I did not know her from anywhere. But in my head, in my subconsciousness, all I was trying to say is, Lord, you have given me something and I bless you. I glorify you in other creatures. And so I gave it out. When I came home that day, the gifts that started coming was more than that 2,000 cities. Until now, if I can stand before you and say that I have been so poor to the point that a day came and I had not eaten, I'll be a liar. Because God received my worship. It is time. Whatever you are going through, just praise the Lord. With the little you have, worship Him. Now many countries, like your own, will be going back to worship. Don't go back complaining. Remember the deeds of the Lord. Will you also forget? 
Israel had to be reminded day in and day out to praise the Lord, like in Deuteronomy chapter 8. It's time for you to bless the Lord. And remember, when the praises go up, His glory comes down. May the glory of the Lord shine around you. May He smile at you. May restoration begin to come your way by your relationship, your job, your health, your academics, whatever it is. May God smile at you because you remember to thank Him. You remember His deeds and you will glorify Him. May that be your portion. And may you smile because you always smile at God. Shalom. Peace. God bless you. May He keep you well. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'll see you again, dear friend, another time. Shalom. Peace.